was we were at the foot of a mountain. And every day I would look up at this mountain. The mountain was called Table Mountain. And it's a flat mountain. Amen. It's like a plateau. It's a mountain. And over the mountain, most of the days, is this big cloud that drank over the mountain. And all the locals, they call it the tablecloth. And that's where the clouds just cover the mountain, the top of the mountain. And I was there, and I looked up, and I said, I want to climb that thing. I want to go to the top. So I got in the cab with my friend, and we got to the place where the climb. And the lady was talking about the rattlesnakes and the, the zebras and the, you know, plants that will bite you and, you know, all type of stuff. And you got to bring water and stuff. I ain't bring none of that stuff. Because I just thought he was going up the mountain. Amen? Amen. So me and my friend, we got, me and my friend Sharon, we got to this one point in the trail and we just stopped. And what we decided to do was, when people come down, we just going to clap for them. And say, hallelujah, you pray, you did it, you made it. You went up, you came down. Amen? And it was at that moment when I was sitting there that the Lord gave me this sermon. The taking of the mountain. The desiring to want the mountain. Now we know that Jesus talked about the power of faith. And that faith the size of a mustard seed can take a mountain and lift it up and remove it out of your way. But if you've never seen a mountain, you realize that your faith really got to be powerful to learn. You see, you either go around the mountain, through the mountain, or over the mountain. Amen? You can't lift the mountain. Amen? The Willis Tower, you know, the Sears Tower they call it, that's not as big as the mountain I was sitting up under. Amen? No structure that man can build is as big as a mountain. And when you think about a mountain, when you think about the opportunity to climb a mountain, or go through a mountain, or go over a mountain, it just lets you know the awesomeness of God. When you consider the foot of a structure that's bigger than anything a man could build. Right. That when you and I are dead and gone, that mountain is still going to be there. Right. When you think about God creating mountains and valleys using water, right. not a drill, not a laser, not even man's hand, but God used H2O to break through a mountain and create something as beautiful as the Grand Canyon. You can't tell me there's not a God.
to be or where you need to go. Caleb said, I want that now because you promised it to me. Caleb is an interesting individual because he walked in and around the promised land for 40 more years. He could have just said, heck with this, I'm going to go another way, but he decided, I'm going to walk until I get and getting older, but God restored his strength. God kept him strong. God kept his mind right. And as the years passed, he said, Lord, I'm going to follow you. I will keep following you. Lord, I may look old, but I don't feel old. I will keep following you. How many of you will walk with the Lord no matter what anybody says? How many of you will just keep walking with him? Even when people say, you're crazy for going to church on Super Bowl Sunday. You're crazy for going to church at all. Why do you even go to church? He said, because I'm going to follow the Lord because he's going to give Fast forward to the New Testament, where we see Jesus had just taken 
wrong. He said, he's, he's crazy. I need you to help me. Your disciples couldn't help me. The nine that were left couldn't help me. And Jesus began to say, ye yeah, little faith, you perverted generation. How long must I be with me? And then he said, okay. And he laid hands on the young man, and the young man was recovering. And the disciples looked at Jesus and said, Jesus, how come we couldn't do that? We've watched you. We've seen you. We've seen how you move and operate, and we did everything that you told us to do. And Jesus had to remind them of this thing, that if you have the faith, the grain of a mustard seed, you shall say unto the mountain, remove hence from this place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. It was faith that kept Caleb walking all those years. It was faith that kept him moving with God and saying, God, even though you're killing off all my friends, I'm going to hold on to you. And then Jesus said another thing. He said, you can tell that mountain to move. Well, what was that mountain? That mountain at this particular point was Satan, amen? It was the enemy that was trying to hold that child in bondage. But he said, with faith, you can speak against the enemy. He was 